I am Teacher Me and welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we are going to express one value as a fraction of another given their ratio and vice versa. When we say ratio, it is a comparison or relationship of two or more quantities. For example, compare the number of custard apples to strawberries. So we have 6 custard apples and 5 strawberries. If we are going to compare this using ratio, we have custard apples to strawberries. We can express the ratio of custard apples to strawberries in three forms. We have word form, colon form, and a fraction form. So let's have first the word form. Since we have six custard apples and five strawberries, we have six is to five. We are going to use the word is two. Next, how about in colon form? So, we are going to use the symbol colon. So, therefore, we have 6 is to 5. Next is we have the fraction form. The first term, 6, will serve as our numerator. And then, the second term, 5, which is 5, serve as our denominator. So, therefore, we can write 6 is to 5 as a fraction form of 6 fifths or 6 over 5. This quantity is called as terms. Let's try another example. We have 4 tables and 9 chairs. So, the ratio of the number of tables to the number of chairs is, so we are going to compare tables to chairs. Since we have four tables and nine chairs, therefore the ratio of the number of tables to the number of chairs is four is to nine. Or we can write four is to nine as a fraction form four ninths or four over nine. How about the ratio of the number of chairs to the number of tables? The first quantity should be chair, and the second quantity would be table. So, we have 9 chairs is to 4 tables, or 9 fourths, or 9 over 4. How about the ratio of the number of tables to the number of furniture? Since we have 4 tables, and so we are going to to find the total number of the tables and chairs. So, we have 4 plus 9 is 13. So, therefore, the number of table, the ratio of the number of tables to the number of furniture is 4 is to 13 or 4 over 13. So, again, we can express ratios in three ways. We have word form, a colon form, and a fraction form. So, let's have another example. We have three quantities. We have pencils, rulers, and pairs of scissors. We have seven pencils, eight rulers, and 12 pairs of scissors. So, write the ratio of the number of pencils to the number of rulers. So, the two quantities are pencils to rulers. How many pencils are there? We have seven. So, seven is two. How many rulers? We have eight. So, therefore, the ratio of the number of pencils to the number of rulers is seven is to eight or seven eighths. Next, write the ratio of the number of scissors to the number of pencils. So again, we have two quantities, scissors, two pencils. So how many scissors are there? 12 pairs of scissors. How about the number of pencils? We have seven pencils. So therefore, the ratio is 12 is to 7. Next, 
write the ratio of the number of scissors to the number of rulers. Again, since we have 12 pairs of scissors and 8 rulers, so therefore we have 12 is 2, 8 or 12 over 8. Now, since a fraction can be simplified, so therefore, we are going to simplify 12 is to 8. So, how to simplify a fraction? First thing to do is to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. So, what is the greatest common factor of 12 and 8? The answer is 4. So, after finding the greatest common factor of 12 and 8, we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 4. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, therefore, we have 3 halves. So, 12 is to 8 now is equal to 3 is to 2. So, they are called equivalent ratios because they are equal. List down at least 3 equivalent ratios of 3 is to Two. Okay, so since we have 3 is to 2 or 3 halves, let us multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So 3 times 2, we have 6, and then 2 times 2 is 4. So we have now 6 over 4, or 6 is to 4. So we have 3 is to 2, and 6 is to 4 are equivalent ratios. We are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So we have 3 times 3 is equal to 9, and then 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So we have now 9 over 6, or 9 is to 6. So another equivalent ratio of 3 is to 2 is 9 is to 6. Next, so to find the equivalent ratio of 3 is to 2, let us multiply 3 halves or the numerator and denominator by 4. So 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 4 is 8, or we have 12 is to 8. So therefore, the equivalent ratios of 3 is to 2 are 6 is to 4, 9 is to 6, and 12 is to 8. How about writing the ratio of the number of scissors to the number of school supplies. We have two quantities here, the number of scissors and the number of school supplies. Since we have 12 pairs of scissors, and how many school supplies do we have? So we have 12 pairs of scissors plus 8 rulers, we have 20. 20 plus 7 is 27 school supplies. Okay, so therefore, the ratio of the number of scissors to the number of school supplies is 12 is to 27 or 12 over 27. So 12 is to 7 can be simplified by finding the greatest common factor of 12 and 27. So what is the greatest common factor of 12 and 27? We have 3. So after finding the greatest common factor, we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 3. So we have 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then 27 divided by 3 is 9. So we have 4 nines. So 12 is to 27 can be 4 is to 9.